All right, all right. <laughs> oh, we're doing here. We're just taking a moment. Just going to make sure everything's working just exactly right here. Let's see. We got to pop this over here. Boom. Okay, that seems to be working as intended. All right, looks like everything's working just exactly right. Little weeknight stream. Where are you, Obi Wan, Luigi, Ivan, Adam, Azuma, Thoughtful? What is this? <laughs> Peter, how you doing? Super Donuts, Ender, what up? Control. Yeah, usually I, when I fire up the streams, it's about uh, eight hours ahead of this time. Okay, usually during the week we're working, then I come home and I'm like, ugh. Gotta make videos for tomorrow, got, gotta relax for a little bit, so I don't get to stream as much during the week as I'd like to. But I got a few days off this week, so figured we'll fire it up. Uh, this tonight see how everyone's doing enjoyed the cold bear video. Oh, thanks <laughs> I Think a few people thought I <laughs> kind of blew a socket on that one Yeah, I was just uh, maybe we could check out the cold bear tonight. I don't know. Maybe We'll see how it's going out there But uh, yeah, I was just the problem was I I got the cold bear Two nights ago or whatever it was. Yeah, it must have been Monday Played, you know, 15 games that night, and it was like, ah, the, the action legendary tier, not not conducive to what I was hoping for. So we put it on, we tabled the motion, played a few games in the morning, I'm like, ah, I was fed up. All right, we're just going to go off. <laughs> Red Rock, what's going on? Jayski? Iron enjoyed being called out. <laughs> well, we were talking about in the Dewey's Lounge last night, like, I, I haven't really even thought about this because I don't uh, really focus on the, you know, when we're doing commander builds. Let's take a look at them. You know, you got your slot one, two, three, four, and then you got your legendary tier perk. Now, at legendary tier perks for me, I don't really pay them much mind. You know, I just look at them as another level for our main inspiration usually. Uh, but then, uh, you know, we're thinking about it. People are reminding me all these perks are designed to be they're incentivizing people clumping up, which of course is the exact opposite of what we want everyone to do. You know. Let's take a look at uh, Bay, for instance, here. You know, now, each one has a... What, a regular time? You know, like, uh, engine repair time being reduced, and here you got the reduced mobility with a disabled engine, so that's a valuable perk. That's always working in the background. But what I don't ever think about, oh, damage control, reload, 50%, if you're within 7.5k of your teammates, but, or that looks like by your uh, enemies. But these battleship ones that everyone, especially the will to rebuild, we'd, we've talked about that extensively, but the other ones, 2.75 kilometers next year friendly to reduce the torpedo damage. This one, this one's, I like because it doesn't have a damage requirement, but anyone using this is going to, say to themselves, oh, well, apparently we should be uh, as close to our buddies as we possibly can be. And that is a battleship. you got to get some distance. So, I don't you know. I think they got the whole thing wrong. I think they got it backwards. Rather than have all these perks that tell you be close to your buddies, either do them like we were talking about in that video, incentivize capping, spotting, whatever you want to do, or <laughs> change it. Be like, if you're uh, too close to your team, then this doesn't work. That would be my suggestion. Willem up, what's going on? Can't finish getting the Minotaur. Uh oh, well, you should have been on earlier today. We got the carrier ranking video coming out tomorrow. So I played about, uh, oh God, it was probably about 20 carrier games early. I ran into a few people that we saw or that we know earlier today. Yeah, I haven't seen it uh, or I haven't been playing a lot of carriers lately. New to Walls Legends. Hopefully you can pick up some tips and tricks. Well, you're in the right spot, Nathan. Welcome for 
Or thanks for stopping by. Wolfpack, what's going on? Anthony? M14? Heck, what's going on? What's legendary tier? Legendary tier is kind of the, uh... We call it the L tier. <laughs> but basically you have... Tier 1 is what you start. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These you grind out. You, okay, you play the tier 4 for a while. Then you unlock the tier 5. So on and so forth. This one... Legendary tier. It's got all the high-end uh, ships in it, but how to get them is completely changed, so... Uh, if, I don't know. Legendary tier is problematic right now. It's not very well played at the moment. Stylo, what are you doing up here? <laughs> the man never sleeps. Azura Lane Commander is worth the 5,000 doubloons. Uh, depends on which one. Are they available right now? I don't think they are, are they? There's a handful of them that are pretty damn good. If you want to know which ones I like personally. Uh, I know a lot of people like this Baltimore one. I don't use it too often, but it's got a rudder shift. Azura Lane Otago is one of the strongest, in my opinion. Um, Nelson, extremely strong. Belfast, I got on my lights. I think that's a great build for the lights. Uh, Sharnhorst. Hipper. Hipper I was using until this uh, Riegerwald came along. Now she's uh, working the desk job with Dewey. Dunkirk, extremely strong. Allows you to switch the shell types in one second. So yeah, there's... I'd say they're more off... And then the Hood one, which I don't use just because I got Nelson, but this is also very strong. So I'd say more of them are good than not good. Hey, Eliza, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Hey, Joshua, what's going on? But yeah, I mean, whether something's worth it to you, I never really like to make those judgment calls because the cash equivalent of 5,000 doubloons for one person might be a lot of money, for the next person it might be pocket change, you know. So you got to always weigh that yourself. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Nighttime stream, yes, yes. <clears throat> Oh, next update, there are new ones, really? Okay. Toke Cutter. Yeah, it's, uh... That'll be interesting. Alright, so what are you guys in the mood for today? I was thinking... Because we got all the premium supplies done, maybe we could play some tech tree ships today. See what people are interested in seeing. You guys let me know in the chat if you got a ship you want to check out tonight. Yeah, the Azura Lane, I mean, you never know until you see what the new ones are, but historically they've been quite strong, so. Goofer, what's happening? 10.30 in the morning. That's usually when I'm normally streaming, so. Yeah, let's fire this up here. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of carriers most recently played. Like I said, I was grinding the carriers today. Play some legendary tier. <laughs> hmm. Not hot deck now. You guys aren't these tech tree ships. Tech trees. Let's just maybe we'll do some premiums later. But a lot of the, most of the streams we played like a good chunk of the premiums. Now when you got all the lines ground out, it's a good way to make cash if you play the premiums a lot. But Roma? Yeah, maybe we'll get that one going in a little bit. Just spent 2,000 bucks on a guitar pedal and board. Nice. The York. Yeah, why don't we try the York? We haven't played that one for a while. We'll give it a whirl. I think I might leave the hip around there. Isn't this have slow church verse? 26 and a half. That's pretty longish. Let's just leave this build on there. Normandy. The Minsk, we should maybe try that, yeah. I don't think I've played the Minsk since uh, it's been boosted. Jayski checking in 23 months as a member. Appreciate that very much. Excited for the Italian BB's next update. Yeah, Fabuki wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Let's give a shout out to the new members that we had since last stream. So we had still this channel has been deleted. I don't, I don't know what happened to that one, but uh, whoever they are, they became a member and then deleted their channel. Reaper, Griffin, and Carl. Well, Carl rejoined, but Griffin and Reaper, and then Carl, I think, took a little bit of a break and then rejoined. So appreciate all the members. Yeah, what do we got going on here? Estuary. We got a pretty good turnout. I never know what these weeknight ones, because this isn't my normal time slot. 81 checking in, though, or tuning in. Appreciate that. If you guys don't mind running up the like count, that always helps the stream out. It's kind of a nice uh, opportunity to get some new eyeballs on here with a different uh, time that we normally plan. The Dallas could be interesting, yeah. Beast Tex, what's up? Seven months. Finally a stream that isn't 4 a.m. Yeah, I've got a few few of you guys over there saying you're uh, getting tuned in. That's why I would like to be able to tune, or stream at least once in a while at night, because a lot of you guys are... It's like the middle of the night for you when my normal time slot would be, so... This would be a good week to take an opportunity to do so, I believe. Oh, no. All right, what do we got? I go on Akatsuki. So in this situation, we got no destroyers. He's kind of, the California is kind of the guy we need to spot for us. Gorky, absolutely cannot spot. He's one of those ships that, if it gets shot, it'll blow up immediately. Mine's a little bit tankier. But still, it's a cruiser. Robert? Yeah, new patch. I figured, you know, kind of looks like a T-Bull guy. <laughs> we'll try it out. We're just taking it out for a test spin. We might keep the fish. Last hope, thanks for subbing. Hello, governor. Yeah, the turret traverse is really slow. That's what I thought. That's, uh, that means this hipper gal is good for that, because you got ingenious on that build. That's why I switched over that one to begin with. Because... The evolution of the commander build on this line for me was Von Mueller to start, but no turret or uh, no ingenious. So we put this guy on. And now this Riegerwald. It's got like extra AP uh, pen perks, so that's where we're at currently. The well, angle will uh, switch to the HE, but they're going to be broadside at all. We'll give them the old AP shot to the gut. Oh, here we go. These guys must be a duo, huh? Yep. Same ship. Nice. Should take care of that, dude. Nice. We're getting a little bit of space between us and the Gorky. I think I'm gonna pr oh. I'm gonna press to the side here. Ah, oh, shit. Well, he still kind of has to angle against the California here, so we're gonna try and access the side here. Give him an old gut punch. And the Torps force him to angle even more. There we go. I think their destroyer might be over here. I want to come charging out here and deal with this thing. I don't know, we saw a torp launch over there. I don't think that was a Charlemagne torp launch. It might have been. Yeah, I got a Degras and Mutsu on the base. You can see their destroyers kind of trying to push in. <clears throat> Fuck. Count ends at 69 <laughs> eh, Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Let me get a feel for the what's going on out there. Stopping in to say hi. Oh, thanks, Luke. Appreciate it. Perfect angle for Nelson when you just have the third gun. Yeah, it's pretty accurate in most cases. 
Uh, the front of the Nelson's not the, not the strongest armor, but... Got a pretty decent lead here. We got good cap control, obviously. Just want to see if we can spring into action and get that destroyer. Yeah, York. I don't know. I'd, usually all the tech tree ship lines have like one dud in them. I'd say for this one, it's probably the Nuremberg. That one's definitely the most difficult to play. Yeah, you could if you can manage to stay alive, you'll spit out the damage like a madman. But very brittle. Rearward firing. This one. This is kind of a big jump in play style. When this ship first launched, man, it was something goofy with the shells, but it took like probably a 25% longer to actually get to the uh, target than you would expect. Mobo Genesis coming in hot with a, I'm doing my part 6.90. 6 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hobo. So even like a uh, King George... He's broadside. It's worth testing the AP out on it. See, pretty decent damage. Just shy of 5k. I want to make sure this destroyer doesn't cause me problems over here. Nurnberg's really good. It's... I'm just saying it's the most difficult. I don't know, I would still maybe say... You can make a case that the York would be kind of the dog of the line as well. But the Hipper... The Hipper's pretty damn good, so... I think it's definitely worth grinding out. Legendary, checking in, member for 14 months. Don't ever remember you changing the patch. <laughs> you always had, and the Minotaur finally made you change it. Maybe it was that special for you. Well... It's, I've always been, like, I, they had the first bowl one that came out. It was kind of a red-looking bowl, but it was kind of hard to see on all the backgrounds. Who? The Mutsu torped his ass. You know, we've dabbled before, and I'm not even saying we're not going to go back to the fish, maybe even by the end of the night, but sometimes we got to at least potentially shake it up a little bit. Appreciate the continued support, though. Stay out of legendary tier and total shit show. Yeah, I think I, part of the problem is these rentals, right? All those R's running around. I think you just gotta leave legendary tier alone until the next update. <coughs> yeah. The other thing about these German uh, cruisers, like the HE pen is really strong, but the damage really low. So you get fairly consistent results in the fact that you're actually doing damage, but in terms of the actual numbers, pretty low usually. Ehrenberg is your king. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't have some rippers in the Nuremberg, but Nuremberg is one of those cruisers that every time I see it and I'm in a battleship, I'm like, oh yeah, here we go. You know? Like, if this guy comes around, we'll, uh, we'll show him what we think. He might allow us to demonstrate. I think the Surrey will probably whack him. Yeah. Give me one shot. Come on. Maybe just a smidge high. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Shot like went through him. That was not nearly as cool as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I think we got some lag on the shells. <laughs> Cobalt.
Owlbear, Minotaur, and Stalingrad. Yeah, the Stalingrad I'm looking forward to getting back. I stand by the Alaska being, like, hands down the king of legendary tier right now. I don't even think it's close. I think that ship is borderline overpowered. I thought it was a pretty decent spot when it launched. It was a little wonky with the accuracy. Like, I I like them tightening it up a little bit, but now it's it shoots lasers. <clears throat> Why did the Nuremberg cross the road? That was dangerous. That was definitely dangerous. But we couldn't hit the shots, so if you can't punish them, they never learn. Charles checking in here. Mines, please, when you get a moment. No rush. I'm settling in for a long evening of paperwork for my job. Good to see you streaming at this time. Thank you, Charles. Yeah, we had, let's do the Fubuki, and then I guess we can do the mines. I want to do the mints too. I'm going to kind of cut my eye. The Fubuki, we can kind of try and demonstrate it a little bit. Basically what you want to do in this is go all the way to the side of the map and then just hug the edge of the map for the first 10 minutes, try and get all the way behind the enemy and then rush the carrier and as you get killed by the carrier maybe you can hit him with a torp or something like that. <laughs> it's usually the game plan as far as I can tell. Stalin Chad, yeah. Yeah, that one, it's pretty damn good, I believe. It's a trap! But it's been a little while since we played it now, so I can't remember perfectly. You'd think the Stalin's better at range. Alright, so now we're in the Lone Destroyer here, which obviously heightens the importance of us playing properly. Uh, but it's interesting deployment, right? Because we got to say, how can we spot for the most? Now, we can't spot for everyone. Uh, if we play C, we can't really spot into B or A. But if we play over here, we can actually get on to B, and then we'll probably spot people playing A and B, potentially. A lot of times, if I'm actually going to play B, I would play in this zone. But since we're the lone spotter, we're just going to try and uh, deploy it to basically this side right here. That little edge of the cap. That's exactly how the Fubuki should be played, yep. <laughs> Once you get two milled green XP, nothing will stop you. Yeah. I I probably would have had it by now, but I had to get the Pablo, of course. That was uh, calling my name. What do you guys think? Should I stick with the fish, or should we stick with this uh, bowl guy? Going good, Elite 45, how are you doing? That's the game plan, we'll see if it works. Alright, now we're getting some viewers in here. 142, but we only got 63 likes. But we could probably run that number up a bit. I believe in you guys. Budiones, you always gotta remember, could technically have a radar. I don't think most players that play the Budione know that it can use the radar, but... If you don't account for the possibility, that's when it'll burn you. Alright, so Fubuki, we got our triple launchers. Mm -mm. But you see what I'm talking about here. Basically, we got two, four, or five ships that we're potentially spotting. And that's helping our team out. Because if these guys want to play behind cover, this guy's doing God knows what in the smoke. But this spotting allows these guys to get these shots off, right? And we're still on B, regardless. Now, once again, C is kind of screwed, but, you know, presumably their red team's not getting the best spotting over there either. Yeah, he's turning off. So we saw three ships def definitely spawn there. So the destroyer is either in the middle here or on C. He's not playing the cap either way. Here we go. Yeah, Japanese destroyers, we want to be doing these torp shots, yes, but we want to be getting the caps, countering destroyers, whatever else, as we're dealing that damage. You know. We've already got more caps than your average Japanese destroyer would. He might have seen that splash if he's paying attention. Probably not. 
You always want to try and avoid hitting the islands with the, uh, oh, with the torps if possible. Got a little closer than I thought I was. Oops, did I easy? Oops, did I easy? That'll take a bite out of him at least. See if we can set them on fire. Alright, so now... If there's ever any spotting issues and we're in the smoke, it's our priority to... We have to spot first and foremost. It's a luxury if we can use our guns, but that's not our job here. Oops. So, like, if, if none of these targets were available, because nobody was spotting them, then it's our job as the destroyer. Okay, just because you pop your smoke doesn't mean you're not doing your job. If need be. Oh, here he does have the radar. Interesting. You don't see that every day, do you? Not that it's going to do him much good, but... I don't know what the uh, range on it is. I know it's short as... About as short of a range radar as it comes. What USDD with T-Bull? Halsley next. <clears throat> it's a bold move. Old strategy, Cotton. Notice you changed the emblem. Yeah, we're trying it out. It's kind of branded. Looks like a bowl to me, you know. But the fish is a classic. Fish simple, elegant. <laughs> 80 likes, that's not too bad. I think we can get to 100. We'll get there though. We'll get there. Yeah, Dunkirk, if that is your name. So we're up three ships, we're up two caps to zero. Still no destroyer. Probably AFK. Like a real Goomba. Either that or he's found some battleship he's trying to torp somewhere. Score wise, though, we might as well go grab uh, C if possible. Didn't know it had a radar. Yeah, you gotta go to the loadout screen. Which is why... Most of the players that got the booty on, they don't ever use them. He is torping over there, that little son of a gun. The Battle of the Fubukis. Who's doing it better? We got two caps. And while we've been at it, we've gotten a couple of hits. Oof. Don't call it a comeback. So here's the problem for these guys. Like, let's say they do even it up in ships or maybe even go up like a ship. Well, all that effort's going to be wasted because at the end of the day, we're going to have a huge fucking lead regardless. And as long as they don't catch me by surprise, I can just control the game. You know, I can guarantee the win by not dying. Which is a problem for them, if they're trying to win the game. More like Dunkirk. <laughs> we'll get there. First we get to 100, then we get to 150, then 200. That's when the mojo happens. Alright, so I'm guessing the Fubuki's probably got full health. I don't think he's been spotted the entire game, from the looks of things. But, what I do know is he's been uh, torping battleships the whole time, so I'm not afraid of him. Regardless. Yeah, I got a little bit of a... I've never been to Boston, but sometimes I got a Boston accent. Hey, Worman! 
I actually, uh... It's probably the most insane thing that's ever happened to me, but, like, for... When I was in my early 20s, we, me and my buddy... Well, mostly me, I would just always be imitating the Boston accent, and then I couldn't turn it off for, like, a year, like, even in serious situations. <laughs> I'd have to, like, really think about it to not use the Boston accent, but it did go away, finally. Okay, this is a problem. He, well, he's not coming this way. Okay. I was going to say, if he was closing in, we're about to get spotted by the Fubuki, probably. He'll come through this lane or over here. But if the Tennessee was charging over here? Now the Fubuki's actually probably going straight for the Normandy, now that I think about it. Nope, oh, here he is. There you are, governor. Oh, but he's already launched his torps. I don't think he's going to know how to fight us. <laughs> Without those torpedoes. Torps are just a bonus. Oh, I got some more torpedoes off that little son of a gun. And they weren't even widespreads, what the hell? I think he's got one launch left. We'll see if he gets us. I'm gonna try and shoot right in the middle of the ship. That's where those launchers are. Are you gonna shoot your fucking guns or not? <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? That's why you gotta use your guns, because uh, people will dodge those torps, you know? And then what are you gonna do? Not too concerned about the engine at the moment. We'll just kill him first and then we'll fix it. He got more off. What a fucking maniac. <laughs> He's got a reload build, man. Seems like his torps are reloading way faster than mine, doesn't it? You don't know a boot did? Well, it's, it's been years now. It's I've fixed it. <laughs> Is there a prize for being your first like of the night? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we'll get all three caps. We'll kill the destroyer. And I'm guessing we'll probably get the top score of the game. Rather than trying to hit this guy with torps for 20 minutes, which was the other option we had, we kind of guaranteed our team an easy victory. That's on the leak next update. Well, I actually haven't had any time to look at it, even though I've been off <laughs> today and yesterday. But someone, I think Zarkoon was saying that they were, it looked like the, uh, Crossplay was coming up, which could be interesting. Pretty much all the community contributor, the content creators, I should say, have been looking forward to that. So, <clears throat> hopefully, the uh, training rooms and all that will come. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna hit 100 likes before the next game. Excellent. Shoot your guns. And, I mean, that was a very easy example. Who was going to win that fight? The dude trying to spend 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds lining up the perfect torpedo shot, or the other dude who's slamming him with the guns? You, you saw how long I lined up those torps, right? Took about... I got all three salvos off in less than a second. Because they're just... You put them out there, they might hit them, they might not. You got a 10% chance. Maybe 20% at that range. But, uh... We missed them, and we killed them with the guns. That's 
The torps are the backup plan, the bonus, if you can get them. Cross divisions. As far as I know, I mean, that's that's the hope. What was the main man looking for? The mines? Look at this! I was going to show you this shit. I didn't even know that we had the skin until the other day. <laughs> Tactic, not a big fan, but some people might enjoy it. This one, I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm all about it. All right, let's try the mines, I guess. Here we go. Kabuki guns are decent. They hit hard. It's just, they don't reload very quickly, but... What you want to do is take a shot or two. Like, let's say I'm fighting uh, Mayhan, right? Well, that guy should kick the shit out of me. But if I spot him first with my better concealment, I get the first shot off before he even knows I'm there. Then I get another shot off, pop the smoke, turn 180 degrees away from him, reset the fight. Okay, now all of a sudden I got a three, four, five thousand health advantage over him, and it's a much more winnable fight, you know, compared to what it would normally be. Oof, this isn't the best map for this one. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Oof, better get down to A, I guess. That's damn ugly. <laughs> Giving our team something to do. Nine torps, a 10% chance each. Yeah, but trust me, man. Well, yeah, you said you, you've learned your ways. That that last Fubuki v, v Fubuki was like the ultimate illustration. The dude, I shot him like 10 times point blank before he even pulled the trigger. He was trying to line up the torps. I knew what he was doing. Dodged him the second he launched him. It wasn't difficult. Okay, this is... Minotaur. I wonder if we can gank his smoke. That would be ideal. <laughs> Got the skin, but probably never grinded the Shikaku. <laughs> I don't know, where are those? They must have been some Halloween skins or something. Hey, Victor. Doing good. Yeah, I didn't completely lose my marble. Some of you guys thought I went off the deep end yesterday. Definitely grind for the Roma. Well, I don't think the Roma is going to be grindable. Hey, Bugsby. Explore Colombo. You know, but I, I mean, getting back to my point, like, yeah, we did attempt to hit him with torps, right? But we didn't rely on it. That's the difference. I see these destroyers fight day after day after day, and they just rely on it too much. If he gets hit by a Minotaur and a mine's at the same cell, that's gonna hurt. Ah, I kind of flubbed the shot. Oh boy, I'm kind of fucking him up. Oops. So Tago should be f dead pretty quick here. Nice. The Minotaur's like, fuck the smoke, man. I'm just dodging. Steve, how you doing? The Gulio's too fun. Yeah, that's... I'd say it's pound for pound one of the stronger ones. Alright, is this revenge or what? Why don't you just go in front of me? <laughs> there you go. Alright, so we got B. Looks like we're grabbing A here. Three unknown destroyer positions. Well, one of them on C at least. Those 
Save that clip for Honda and not play a destroyer. I mean, I could I could find the same clip in about two seconds. Like literally every game. Oh, looks like he's moving a little bit. Ah, he moved back. Minotaur radar. That's why I wasn't using the smoke. Interesting. All right. We'll give him an old Gouda Arbite for that one. So we got A, we got B. Got another destroyer over here. What to do? Do we stick around or do we go to to defend B mode? Oh, shison. It's ping, so these guys understand. Probably right in this zone right over here. Oh, they're on B already. What's this cheeky bastard doing? I don't know if you saw I got my guns on him or what, but... Oh, it's a Minotaur over there. You shooting your model rental or the Minotaur broadside? I thought the Minotaur on our team was doing pretty well until... That decision! This thing will absolutely carve the living fuck out of us. I don't want to fight him. I just have to go nose in to keep ourselves alive. Taking torps. I think we got a destroyer on this cap. And definitely the Minotaur. We want both of them gone. Swat him with HE. We'll go uh, AP for this Minotaur. Nope. This is turning into a bit of a problem here. I would have liked to get the Minotaur. Not a bad little duel, though. So the Minotaur, we had we had the HE loaded, and we got low health Minotaur or Destroyer. Now, both of those are very good targets to shoot at. You want to kill the Minotaur because it can kill you very rapidly. That thing can kill anything very quickly, but with the HE, we're not going to be able to do that much damage to him, so we took the HE shot in the gearing, and then put the AP in the barrels with the intention to kill the Minotaur. Forced the back gun into play, and then we got whacked, so. That's alright. Not the end of the world.
How many subs do we lose? I don't think we ended up losing any. <laughs> you never can tell if you're a little cranky. Some people get turned off. Let's see what it says. Uh, that video, we added three subscribers from that one, so... Ended up being a net positive. <laughs> Yeah, at the buzzer. I mean, I'd, I was a half a second away from killing him. Man. He just, he knocked my second gun out, so I put the, swung the back turret in, and then that gave him the ability to get a nice shot. Should not be an issue, though. Montana. How's, how do you guys like the Montana? So far, I'm not thinking that's the greatest ship. Oh, well, Genesis, join in the members. Appreciate it very much. Let me take a look at this. It says we've added two new members, but... I only saw the one. Appreciate it, Hobo. Yeah, that's the mines for you. That's not the... I don't know. That map's tough for cruisers because there's no real good covered positions. Oh, Beast Tex. Thanks for rejoining. Don't have the Montana. I don't I don't think it's that strong, man. I, I was kind of getting knocked around with it. I'll have to give it another look when we actually unlock it here. I think I'm getting relatively close, maybe about two weeks away. I'm no hur no hurry with this one. Let's see, we got five, ten, and fifteen. Yeah, about two, two and a half weeks or so. What are cha channel members? Well, so subscribing, there's two things you can do on YouTube. There's su subscribing, which is free, and that will, depending on how you set it up, it might get you notifications when new videos, streams happen, whatever else. And then there's channel memberships. All these guys with the green in the chat, they're the members. Now, it's either $1.99 or $4.99 a month. Uh, you can join for one month. Some of these guys have been members for two or three years now. But that's just another way to support the channel, you know. Keeps uh keeps the lights on around here. And the the members, we just had our member stream for January last weekend, but we do a kind of a fun members only stream every uh every month where we kind of do count ins. We play together to the best of our abilities. And those man, the action last weekend. I don't know what you guys thought, but I thought those games were awesome. Hey, Phil. Two weeks away, too, Broner. Yeah. Kevin coming in, huh? Let's see more Colbert. Okay. I do have a 200k damage game save, like I said. I just I would be embarrassed to show that one, though, because it was... Like, anyone on my team that saw me play the end of the match... Like, I straight up... All I had to do was sail away, right? I was not spotted... But I was like 197 some damage. And there was two red ships left, two blue ships. Now one of the red ships kind of made me think that he'd ran away like a little puss. So I'm like, okay, I can take the shot at this other dude, get my three, four thousand damage, get him killed, and then sail off in the sunset. But the Amato is the one who got me. He had actually kind of sailed away, but then he came back. And he wasn't spotted. But I shot, as soon as I got spotted, he lined up a great shot and blew me up. And it was like at the buzzer. <laughs> Me and the other dude both died. And the game was just completely fucked. Like if I anyone did that on my team, I would definitely be yelling at the TV. <laughs> so that's the one problem with the my existing high damage game. But a lot of the guys on my Colbert video, the or the video was more about legendary tier in my mind, but it featured the Colbert. A lot of people were saying use it as a run and gun, which I tried it a few times. It works pretty well doing that way. 
Let's see the throw. Minnow. Minotaur is good, man. It's just it's the same problem if you're playing the game by yourself and your teammates are goofballs. It's going to cause you your hair to turn gray. But I, it pumps out the damage. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. If you're a solo player, I'd recommend the Alaska and the Stalingrad as the better cruisers for that setup. Oh, what's our range now? We're up to six. They got Benson with a Logan and Dallas. So that's probably on the sea because we got a battleship here. Not guaranteed all these spawn or the divisions will spawn together, but it's usually how it works. So what we'll do, we'll grab B quick and then we'll go pop over to A, grab that, and then we'll uh, try and fight the destroyer. Use Colbert to spot. Yeah, you can do that. It it can wiggle for sure. I mean, oh. Okay. Stop getting reset, dude. Jesus. I'm trying to time my exit. There we go. Like right now, we're only getting one uh, ship spotted here. We got this guy that spawned there. So we got one unaccounted for ship here. <coughs> it's possible there's a destroyer there. But usually the divisions play together. Why they're not on sea? Nobody knows. <laughs> Why is nobody on sea? Toastacular coming in. Best DD for newbies. Also love the bits. That's an interesting question. Thank you, Toast. Appreciate it. Like, uh, I always recommend the Japanese destroyers as the first destroyer line. Now, a lot of people disagree with me and they think it's horrible advice. But I, I think in terms of learning how to play destroyer, like torp stuff, how to spot, you know, things of this nature. It's kind of the archetypical destroyer line for a reason. But that said, you can develop a lot of bad habits, I think. <laughs> They're still getting spotted here. What was that ship behind them? Surrey. So, I don't know. Usually I would just go with Japanese destroyer is a good way to learn it. But Americans would be another good option. Thank you, Toast. Thomas upgraded a membership to William Sims. Appreciate that. The members really are kind of the engine that keeps this ship rolling, so... Can't express my uh, appreciation for the members nearly enough. Appreciate it, Thomas. Yeesh. I was trying to get him off the cap so we can get A. I could probably... I think he's getting spotted by that battleship behind him, so... Probably just gun him down at this point. Yeah, Ameri I mean, Unleash, thanks for subbing. Uh, the Jap- what's the destroyer is what you're trying to do since you're new and you're asking about them. If you've been- we've played a couple destroyer games already today, but you've seen what we're doing. We're capturing the bases. Okay, now next up we're going to try and find that destroyer. You can see it's sitting there on C. Uh, we want to try and fight the destroyers, get rid of them. But why are we capturing the bases? Why is it not anyone else's job? Well, we got concealment, right? We're not going to get spotted from 6.7 kilometers. And we're in a high visibility destroyer here with the Russians. If we're in, like, one of those uh, Japanese, tier 6 would be Akatsuki. It's probably about 5 kilometers away. That's how close they have to be to spot that thing. Okay, so usually you can get on the cap and then... The nearest enemies will be over five kilometers away, except for probably their destroyers. 
Okay, so we can get on there without getting spotted, flip the cap, get that income coming in, and win the game that way. Okay. But what what the, the bad Destroyer players do, or the ones that are learning how to play Destroyer tend to do, is all they try and do is torp shit, especially battleships. And battleships tend to hang out in the back of the map, and uh, they don't really have any value back there. So if all I'm doing is circling these guys, launching torps at them for the whole game, I'm not doing my job that the team needs me to do. And maybe I'll get some damage, sure, but what good is that? When the enemy is getting all the caps, you know. So we don't want to fall into those mistakes. I wanted to launch and then come back here. I think we're just going to keep going forward. Might take a shot, though. Especially with this shit. <clears throat> He blocked for us, that was a nice one. <laughs> He's probably going to back out of that torp range, that's fine. We just want him off the cap here. We want to preserve the income while we're moving to find that destroyer. Alright, so then we drop spot there. There's another brawner out there. Yeah, you can check through the channel. I mean, I got a long destroyer playlist full of tips, so. So we got A, we got B, right? Now we're on the lookout for the destroyer, sure, but we're not, uh, we're not pressured to do anything, really. It's the other team that has to make the moves. So if we just want to chill on B here, that's perfectly fine. Someone's taking an interest in this over here. Alright, so... Did our firing ring contract? I belong... Thought it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. So we're only up two ships, but the longer we hold these, uh, the cap advantage, the harder it is going to be for them to actually win the game. Fuck is shooting over here. I think we'll pop the smoke down here and finish these guys. Here's the destroyer. He's not really pushing. He's just hanging out on sea for some reason. <laughs> now we don't need to be charging into these guys, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's their responsibility if they want to win the game to push into us. Because we have two thirds of the caps. That's not sustainable from their perspective. Blizzcock. Mm, High level crew. Nah. I mean, the commanders help. I'm not going to say they don't, but. You know, everything's getting boosted by percentages, usually small, single digit percentages. Alright, here we go. It's the final showdown. What did he have again? There he was. Benson. Sailing away. So we'll have the advantage over the Benson the longer the range. Because his shells are much floatier than ours. You see how flat those come in? How fast they get there? If he just wants to straight up fight us, 
It's easier for us to dodge his shots and vice versa. I'm not that particularly worried about it. Because we got multiple ships shooting at him and I got more health. And even if I die, we're still going to win the game. But if this is a more competitive fight... Like, if we're both sailing away from each other like that, you can see how much easier it is for me to hit him than vice versa. So that's the destroyer role, right? We're getting the bases. This is our responsibility to capture these bases. And then when we, when we got the opportunity, we'll kill those destroyers. The kid the most enjoyable. Yeah, the kid's a good one. Got the Pablo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gunboat's not your play style. That's yeah, we call it the sheriff around here. <clears throat> all right. Well, appreciate you guys all tuning in. Never know when we got different time slots. If people will find the stream or not. Got just 12 likes shy of 150. I bet we can hit that. Yeah, what else are we in the mood for? Carlos coming on out. Night stream. Cool. Thank you, Carlos. Shaking it up a little bit today. That Gangit kind of caught my eye there. I think we might have to throw the Gangit on there. Put the Gangit on the Balby. Usually play battleships and cruisers. Yeah, I you know I I always recommend trying to play all the lines, all the classes. It's because the more familiar you got with them, the more you can say to yourself, okay, if I was in that guy's shoes, the guy I'm fighting, what would I try and do there? That'll just give you a little bit of insight. The Colbert, yes, 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 yes. I forgot about the Colbert. It's been uh, wiped from my memory, the trauma. 3 a.m. stream, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not going to say that's probably going to happen anytime soon. Angry, what's going on? Born at night, sir. We'll put Rue back on the Colbert so we can check it out run and gun. I advise, even if you're playing at run and gun, like if you can find covered positions, you're always going to want to do that as a priority. We got tier fours. We only got a well, we got a few cruisers. Konigsberg, we got to get rid of. <clears throat> Too much HE spam. Well, you gotta you gotta adjust your build. If you got a pure accuracy build with that slot one perk, that's adding ten percent fire chance. Sure, the accuracy would be nice, but don't want to make it harder for yourself. Hmm. Did not think we would whiff that. Here's the well, he's spotting the battleship. That's not horrible. We gotta be worried. I think they got a destroyer in that lane too. They got four destroyers, so we need to start worrying. Once this coal bear is shot, uh coal bay or whatever his name is. Once we're clear of that, we're gonna turn around here. Don't want to get nuked. Jaguar. Want this island between us and the core bay if possible. Jaguar. 
Cheshire any good? Mm, it's got its fans. Tourist. Man, this thing's a little clunky. The Gangit is like the most heavily armored low tier ship you're ever going to come across. Oh, they got the Konigsberg guy on it. Hey! That guy was playing with fire. Let's be careful you don't get burned. Alright, so we got, a, I believe we got a nuke attempt right on this line here. We are getting spotted, so... Do need to be careful here. We might have torps en route. Making the move to prime time. That, that is one of my goals this year, to try and stream a little bit more tonight. Because I'm... A lot of you guys just straight up can never tune in when my normal time slot is. Ooh. <laughs> Just came in to see the first dev strike. Nice. Ooh. Alright, so. The destroyer is in route. Can we get a double strike is the real question. We'll see what his health looks like. Nope, where'd he go? There they go. You can choose between every tier 7 battleship and now the only the Bismarck's fun. Well, Bismarck's definitely unique. Alright, so we got three destroyers. It looks like they're all rushing the Konigsberg. My money's on the Konigsberg. I'm just going to try and stay in the middle here. Because the problem with a lot of games, capture the base mode games, is your whole team will push the base or they'll chase damage. All they got to do is slip one guy on our base. Be difficult. Not even close. Monte Cachilli took a shot on the chin. There's no dude there. Viper scratch offs coming in hot. <laughs> Love those little action picture things. GIFs, GIFs, whatever. Appreciate it, Viper. Looks like we sailed right by the old 150 mark. Appreciate all the likes. Especially now that there's no... There's nothing between these guys and our base. I think I... I don't think any of them are pushing the base. In fact, we saw this guy turn here. Looks like they killed one of them. You, just, you hate to lose games, especially if you're clobbering them on ship count. You know, we, we got visual confirmation neither of them are pushing the base. Now we got a piece on their base. You could view that as putting them in check. They still got a carrier on the board. I don't see any planes, though. DOA, thanks for subbing. That was bizarre. I thought I just saw something with the deep water torp. Oh, 
killed the Shen Yang. That's what happened. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this carrier. We'll see if he wants to tango. Even if he nukes us, it's not the end of the world. Thomas checking in for two months after upgrading earlier. The streams are great content solved. Thank you very much, Thomas. Appreciate the continued support. And anyone that's a member, if you're not in the Dewey's Lounge on Discord and you want to be, just let me, uh... All you gotta do is send me a private message on there. Get you set up. Yamamoto or Dimitri Dewey for Minotaur Captain? I think I probably got them both. Um, I mean, the pen's already pretty good. But usually those, the cruisers that are like really heavily AP focused like that, I would just probably run them both. Dimitri Dewey is probably a little bit better if he had to pick between the two. So basically Yamamoto's preserving the penetration at range. Basically converting long range shatters into potentially uh, penetrations. But Dimitri Dewey, that's allowing us to get those shells in that angled ships on a more reliable basis. Which, that's any distance. Can't go wrong with the other one. Good info to be had in the lounge, yeah. Hey, Bulldozer. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of really knowledgeable people in the, in the uh, Dewey's Lounge, for sure. Rabitzia! Let's see if he can get me. Oops, you chose poorly. Yeah, we should proxy spot his ass here in just a moment. He he reloads really quickly. Not quick enough. He plays carrier and then he doesn't even bother to pick up the control of the whole game. What a goof! Is there a way to get the Lennon? No. No, I would be real surprised if that one's ever back. <laughs> All right. Here's why we like the Gangit. If you're ever like in the Odin or no, the uh, Oleg or something like that, trying to shoot this thing, you cannot damage it. The only t the only two spots you can damage it are the smokestacks, which are not easy to hit. That's an that's an armored son of a bitch for a uh, low tier. Lennon has a green XP ship. I mean, I, when times are getting tough for him, eventually I'm sure they'll throw it out there, get some cash, but I would be surprised if it happened soon. Armando coming in out. Thank you very much. Appreciate all the support tonight, guys. Yo, uh, Leon. Eh, yeah, let's, oh, yeah, someone was asking about Dallas earlier. Let's get the Dallas going. Weimar's gone. Yeah, the Stalingrad's a steep ask. Now, I don't know, did they say if this, uh... Oh, we forgot the, uh... Ah! I was just trying to back out so we could play the... Whatever the new legendary ship is. Is that one gonna be a bureau? Or is that green XP? What Did they say anything? 
Galja, Siegfried, Stalingrad. Colbert, yes, 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 Colbert. For some reason, it keeps slipping my mind. <laughs> yeah, they got two destroyers. We got an extra battleship. Benno. The Colbert. Azuma AP only. The Byron and Texas. Battle starts. This could be kind of tricky. I'm going to play on this island. It's a little bit tougher to shoot over than this one, which I initially was planning on. This guy right here. A little bit lower, but I want to be a little bit closer just in case these destroyers try and rush. I'm going to be relying on these guys spotting, so if they sit in the back not spotting, we're going to have a dull experience. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Enemy sighted. He's not even ready to play. Look at this guy. He said he was ready. Couple of free shots. Might as well take them. Alright, we'll try to remember Colbert. Might be a little aggressive here. Since we're not getting reliable spotted, I might want to just pull up here. Any cruiser pushing in destroyer, we can kind of ambush him a little bit. Fighter airborne. Oops. Here we can shoot into this side too. Alright, so Ayoba's coming in. Keep an eye on him. If he comes around, if he tries to push into the zone, we can just slash him. New Mexico pushes, that's going to be a major problem. Major problem. Concentrate! Fire on the designated... Concentrate! We gotta stay the fuck away from this, because if he rushes us... We will die. Well, we got better maneuverability than him, so we can control whether he sees us. Oh, look at that lineup. Did you see where it suggested the shot? I'm going to have one shot of uh, AP ready. No. This is fucking New Mexico. If we get this Jaguar, then everything's good, you know? Even if we die after that, I'm not that worried. Enemy destroyer blown up. Say, yo, was just chilling. So he pushed into a 3v1. The outcome should be pretty obvious.
Alright, I was on the move. Took a little bit of a risk here, he might die, but that's alright. Hey, Mom. What's up? Auto aim's gone haywire. I've heard a couple people say that. I haven't noticed anything. It's always been a little haywire once in a while. Like, sometimes you'll zoom in and it'll. It'll, uh. All of a sudden you'll be looking over here. Like, behind you. Alright, so we got our sight under control here. This thing is still. Now we got problems. We need this Texas. What are you doing back there, dude? Because this New Mexico, all he has to do is come here and then he can kill us in one or two shots, right? Oh. Can I get out of here? We might have to give him the old AP in the side routine. There's a good chance we're going to die here, but not a lot we can do. This is what he should have done a while ago. Rather than let us get three kills and a bunch of damage. I was going to say, that was feeling lucky for a second, but... Alright, so the New Mexico in the middle's dead. That guy should be low. We just hit him for about seven and a half. This guy's running away from the situation. What the fuck? That game's gonna take a while. We'll, just, we'll go on to the next one. Guys have to complain on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're ever getting... If you ever feel like you're you're aiming on someone and you don't feel the grip from the lock, um, just unselect them and then reselect them quickly. But yeah, I'm, the whenever you zoom in, you never. It's kind of it's always a little goofy. All right, it says we don't have any available. Oh. All right. Give it a whirl. We'll do this once. <laughs> I should have I should have forced you guys to get to 200 likes before we do it, but I think you're gonna do that on your own, anyways. You love the Montana, Stalingrad. We don't have right now. No Puedo. Magami. Nothing's as hard as pinging the base. Let's get serious. That they need to fix. I brought that up like months ago and they were like, yeah, you're right. What do we got? ZF6. Okay. Pickle Rick. He's playing with the it Wichita, so hopefully he'll be ready to go. Facebook's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not saying either of them are... I, there's actually a lot of good info on Reddit. Like, it's... But there's also a lot of, like, uh... You know, I play battleships, ergo every uh, destroyer should be nerfed. I play destroyers, every cruiser should be nerfed. You know, it's just stupid shit. That's inevitable. Okay, they're going around the far side, and this guy's going behind the island. There's already... Yeah, I'm already regretting this, alright? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm agreeing with myself yesterday when I said I'd never play this shit again. You'll note he didn't spot anything with this island between him and the red team. It's not too surprising. This is a common play. You see these guys go to this side over here. 
I don't like it because number one, it takes three minutes to get over there. That's a 20% of the game. Number two, when you're there, you can't really project power into anywhere else. Whereas if you come around here to this side, you can still get on the cap, uh, but you can actually project power into B as well. Much more profitable. In my estimation. Ooh, he's smoking. That's what the doctor ordered. Colbert is surprisingly fun. I wasn't I never really was trying to knock the ship. It's just in my zeal to shoot quality footage for it, I went temporarily insane. I don't recommend smoking up your randoms, but the fact that he did it was really nice. It'd be nice if we'd be able to use it. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> did you see that? It switched the target on me. Oh, I can't hit anything. We should probably just go get B quick, huh? Since the uh, cat's away, they might have one ship back here that we don't know about, which could make this painful. We could also go over here and just fight these guys. They already killed the Yudachi, though. But you guys came here for the run and gun. I suppose we could do that. Since this dude's getting B anyways. Actually, what we should have done is gone up to A through there. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. That's alright, though. That's why I would recommend Lemon, though, because you get a much higher fire starting chance. Yeah, we're getting decent values there. Normally you get a lot more shatters. Okay, so let's do this as quick as possible. We can just rush the Alaska. We do have the 32mm plating on the nose. So at close range you can't really do a lot to us. We'll try and rush him, clear the way for these guys to get on A, and then we'll chase down that destroyer if possible. Yeah, beautiful. Nice work. It's like we're in great position here. You can see they got the old backline Betty routine going. We're going to have three caps. We'll see if the Wichita grabs A. I mean, this, where is he? The Minotaur looks like he's going to grab it. We'll see if we get spotted. But getting A quickly will basically guarantee this win, so. I think that will be the goal. Albanor, what up? Had good results with Peru. Yeah. I would, yeah, I'd say it's probably going to be the easier build for most people. It is pretty nimble. All right, so we didn't we expanded our uh, detectability there by fairing. We didn't get spotted, so we know he's not within basically that whole zone there. So he turned around, he went that way. We can try and chase him. Looks like these are probably his torpedoes. All right, they are getting C, so they're not rolling over and dying. Cold beer, bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Ship's name is well worth using. to do good in the cold bear play the Alaska yeah that's definitely one approach all right so we got a we got B we don't want everyone to go fight these guys one at a time this is how we lose this game going west well just because we already had to do getting B 
But yeah, I mean, you can see how effective that is. <laughs> I don't recommend it. This ship, we got some speed though. One of the downsides about not having torps is you can't get a good read on which direction they're going. Yeah, this is why, like on this map, it's very, very hard. Like, what if they concentrate all their forces on C? For some reason, they didn't even get C. I think they got distracted by the destroyer. It looks like they killed him, which is fine. But now, assuming our guys don't completely screw this up here, or myself. You know, they, ha they have to come through these gaps, which is tough to do, right? And you can, a lot of times they'll do it one at a time. Okay, let's get going here. I think we're about to die. Jeez. I don't want to take those shots, but I definitely don't want to get hit by multiple torps. Where's the red team? They're all over there. <laughs> I'm surprised this destroyer was over here. I thought he went all the way to the other side. I could shoot there, but I don't want... He'll... Well, due to the smoke fire penalty, we'd get spotted. I don't want to get torped here. The other problem is when we come out of this side, now these guys have shots. Okay, so he's right on that line there, but we're not fast enough to catch him, so... We don't really care, as long as he's not getting on to B. See what I mean? Like, everyone on our team should be able to shoot this thing right now. There we go. So meanwhile, the score just keeps increasing. But in order to stop that, they have to come through these little narrowly defined areas. Alright, so he's had enough time to just sit here stewing, thinking about torping my ass, so we gotta move a little bit. There he dropped spot, where did he go? Might have went this way? Interesting. I figured he would have tried to torp me. There goes the Edinburgh. So this is making me nervous. See how long it takes these shots though. By the time they get down there, you kind of forgot about them. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just sitting there. Alright, why are you pushing into them, guys? Don't fucking illustrate the point.
am I doing on the back of the map? We're just covering B. We got A, we got B. That's how you win domination. Stop. <laughs> like if that Shima, what he should be doing, right? I have no idea what he's doing, but he should just be, he should have a lane to like spot everyone on our team. Then these guys, number one, they know where they need to attack. And number two, they, this Montana could kill me in one hit here. Or Massachusetts, whatever it is. Like he killed the Minotaur. We're just waiting it out. We got six points every five seconds. They get three. One of the ships on the way to Antarctica, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get rolling here. So at this point... As long as we don't die, we can't lose. Nice shot there. Nice and easy. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't know what this destroyer why he decided to go back to the cap that they already control. We were talking about that in one of the videos the other day. Like, if you already control the cap and then you send more resources there, it's like, uh, didn't you get the memo? We already did the job. Change this patch. Ah, we're just trying something new for a minute. <coughs> Looks more tea bullish than a fish. <laughs> you got B? Oh, are you in the Minotaur? Oh yeah, there you are. Or the Edinburgh. Edinburgh. That was you. Okay. Yeah, good job. Yeah, we didn't have to do too much heavy lifting that one. All right, that's enough cold there. British CVs, yeah. I got a carrier video coming out tomorrow. Oh, that's the plan. How are we doing so far? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Looks like we did lose this one. That's too bad. <clears throat> out of here, bugs. All right, take her easy, bud. Good ship. I never, I never really hated on the ship. I know, I probably didn't. Fr you know, I'd... that was one of those videos that I kept trying to re-record the audio because it was like pretty torqued off at everyone. <laughs> I just can't ignore this. So you do a few takes and then. Eventually, I'm like, all right, I'm done with this video, with the ship. Let's just put up whatever version we got now. The Minsk. We already played the Minsk. Yeah, if you ever miss one, we could, uh, you can always rewind the stream. Okay, we got Battleship City here. Kid T61. I'll take their destroyer and line up. They get two cruisers, we get one. Carriers. <whistles> Not ideal. Leon, you want eight cruisers and one battleship per team. If possible.
Why the fuck do I have HE in there? Or Cam Torps is the real shit. Nah, it's just... It was fine, but the problem is, like, a lot of the Destroyer players think that the only thing Destroyers do is Torp, so... They were even more suicidal than average. Kind of made it frustrating. Hey, you all. There you are. Exhibit A of why we want the cruisers. This thing is not the best against battleships, but cruisers, it'll fuck them up. Konigsberg game, yeah. Can't go wrong with that one. Should be close to getting spotting on this thing. What the hell are you doing back here, dude? <laughs> He's starting to see we don't have any spotting. I wonder why. It's because our fucking destroyer is in the back. I don't know if he thinks he's being helpful or if he's trying to use that smoke, but battleships cannot use your smoke. I mean, as soon as they pull the trigger, they're spotted, so it's not really worth anyone's while. Come on, guns. What the fuck is the HE doing in there? Wait a second. Who's my commander? I thought I could switch the shells. I guess I didn't even try. <laughs> Dallas is going to rue the day. Or the Helena. I think it's like a kid or something in here. Where did it go? Yeah, it's our destroyer. Just shot it so it doesn't work. Yeah. No, I just I may hand be kid. Oh, look at the torps. I'm gonna gamble that I have this. Commander. If we reload and I don't have it, we're fucked. Okay, we do. Might die, but if I can kill the kid, that'd be alright. Okay. Should be fine. Destroyer enemy envoyé par le fond. You said it, man. Nobody fucks with the Jesus.
Fuck. Man, this fucking guy wants it. Well, we did our part, I guess. I don't know if we're gonna win that one or not. We got the destroyers out the board, though. Problem is our Japanese destroyer. If the guy that was new earlier asking about the destroyers, this is exactly what you do not want to do. Now, I think you did get A. It could have been this battleship, I guess. Well, let's just well, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he got A. But now the typical Japanese destroyer player gets behind the enemy, and now all they do is torp, 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 torp. We need them to take make a beeline to go to B. Get the base. And hey, you can torp from here, too. You don't have to be behind them. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky. They might not be thinking about it, but getting the cap two, three hundred points over the life of a match. Oh, hey, what's this? C, unoccupied. Two, three more hundred points sitting there. That's how we win the games. Oh, he's going for the carrier. I should have known. <laughs> of course. I think we'll probably win that one, but... I could see them fucking that up. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? British battleship line is weird. Mm. Yeah, usually... My recommendations for new players, <coughs> number one, my recommendation is always, like, get all your ships up to, like, level three first, tier three. Maybe get them all up to tier four, but if you're going to say, okay, I'm going to go down one line, what should it be? I would say cruisers and destroyers, well, yeah, cruisers and destroyers, Japanese and American battleships, I think would be the easiest. But again, there's no rush to get to tier seven. Right out of the gate. You're not going to be doing yourself any favors. Yeah, the British battleships are good, but... They're a little bit different. All right, eight likes shy of 200. Here we go. I knew we could do it. Okay. Perfect. Well, we only have two cruisers, which sucks. Omaha and Murmansk. The fuck is a Murmansk? Some reason I thought that was tier five. Shot down the eight million planes. I think I probably did. I got the campaign completed, so I don't know. Alright, look at that. Everyone on that flank's moving. Oh. I see you. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, this is very strange. Just a few seconds ago, he said he was ready, and now he's not ready to go. He was lying to us. Steel, Omaha. Oh, that's the, that's the steel ship. Or the V-Bucks, yeah. Now I remember. Now it's coming back to me. Well, let's fuck him up, huh? Whoever he is. I can't even hit him. Who is this wizard? How are we gonna fuck him up if we can't even aim? Blue tracers instead of red. Ah, a destroyer in the hood here. 
There you are, governor. Ah. He's not cooperating. I don't even think he can angle against AP regardless. Let's give him the old heave ho, what do you say? Oh, look out! Back guns? Hello? What the fuck was that? Who's this transform? <laughs> Am I losing my marbles? What's going on here? No, we're fucking dead. Grammy, look out! Grammy! 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 He gone! Come on, Grammy. All right. Somehow we're alive. Not expecting that. Okay, let's watch this match then. <laughs> we shall provide. Aha. This guy is kind of asking for it, isn't he? What is... Fucking Megatron on the comms. Holy God. Let's get the uh, sonar going for him to spot the torps. There he goes. Give him a little bit of help. Assuming he doesn't get nuked, I think he'll probably be able to finish him. Come on. Nice. That guy's been trying to kill me all game. <laughs> I think he might pull it off this time. Pretty decent, right? That should do it. Congo? Yeah, Congo's not too bad. 
I don't know. I I would just try and I mean, number one, you can go by. You'll get a new commander every Sunday. That's when the uh, the premium or the weekly supplies missions come through. What's it called? Weekly havoc. And so, if you're just starting out, you can say, okay, this week I got uh, you know so and so. Let's go try that line for a few. You know, and then. Maybe play up to the tier 5 for that line that week. See if you like it or not. Because you can ask everyone, you know, what what line do you like, but... Everyone's got their personal preference. And it's good to... The more you try, the more you'll be aware, like, okay... When I know this West Virginia... Now, that's not a tech tree ship, it's a premium, but... Since I know what it is, I know... I don't want to get shot by it, because that'll kill me in one hit. So the more ships you can play, the more intel you'll have on your opponents. Or like, if anyone ever plays the Konigsberg, they could be like, holy shit, we gotta kill that thing. Otherwise he'll completely destroy our team. Got a 98 win rate on AI matches, nice. Yeah, losing an AI match is a frustrating... <laughs> Experience. Alright, he's on fire. He's heating up! Like a dead Congo to me. Looks like it got a perma flood, I believe. Yep. So that's kind of the advantage of setting that ship on fire there while the torps are in in play. If he puts the fire out like he did, now he's got a flood that will kill him for like a minute. And if you got a flood stuck on you for a minute, you're in serious trouble. Letting the crew off on the beach, that's a gentleman move. Knows the ship's about to go down. Let the guys off that want to get off. Some of them got young kids. Alright. Lost an AM match the other night. Oof. It'll happen, I mean, once in a while. Especially at, like, higher... I feel like I lose them more at higher tiers, because the, the higher the tier AI, the better their aim gets. Like, if you ever do, like, a tier 2 AI, I've seen some wonky shooting out of those computers. Let's see. Let's go. Let's do a little bit of a deep dive, see what we haven't played for a while. Hmm, Pensacola. Aoba. Let me do the Aoba. Got a head out, thoughtful? All right, man. Thanks for bringing. Thirty Citadels in one match. One match with the Emily. Oof. That's brutal. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on here? We got a biscuit versus kid. Omaha in the wrong match. Hmm. Shit, we got carriers. So unfortunately our carrier lined up behind our destroyer, which and he's almost certainly just gonna send his plane straight down to Sol, so this side could be rough. 
I might try and run and gun over here just to see if we can do a little spotting. Pensacola. Yeah, I was thinking about it. The Pensacola kind of caught my eye. Maybe we'll bust that one out. <clears throat> That's cool as your most played. You got Einstein or who do you run? What lines? The Konigsberg German cruisers. Yeah, that one's... Once you figure out how to use it, it's one of the strongest ships in the game. No, the carrier did... Uh, Change his spotting lane, which is nice. I don't know if he's. I think it looks like he's actually searching for the destroyer, so this guy might know what he's doing. We'll keep an eye on what he's up to. Got a possible super uh, gravitational object over there. There, yeah, he's just, he's straight up looking for the destroyer. So it looks like we got a good, reliable carrier player. Which is good. We should have no resistance over here. E damage con. It's risky. Yeah, I'm going to uh, grab their home cap here. They're gonna lose it. This carrier is doing a pro level job on him. He just kept him lit the whole time, bombed him while he was at it. So now their eyes and ears are gone. I just gotta see if I can get on this cap without getting spotted. Get back! Oh shit. Fiji pushing our destroyer. If I can get their cap, I don't think so. He's on fire. So now that we've been harassing them, that's moving them off, and now I think we will actually be able to get this. Getting their home cap that they start with is devastating. Because that's their only source of income right now. Oh shit. Fuck. That was a mistake. Thought I could squeeze it off before the DeGrasse spotted us, but looks like they're all running anyways, so. We'll be alright. <laughs> okay. I want 
to go north so those guys can't shoot me. Should do it. Come on now. I'm worried about this. You saw a plane launch right there. Better launch our plane, make sure nothing's sneaking up on us. Oh, here comes the DeGrasse. Joke of the year. <laughs> ah, that little fucking bastard. Come on, where is he? Okay. Well, they're not gonna get, expect us here. I'm gonna. Let's see. Looks like Tennessee's healing at the moment. No, he's on fire. Cause I I can trade off shots, but that'll alert both of them that I'm down here. We also got the carrier spotted. But if we can kill these two right here, we're getting the kind of like way out of the. Zone of relevancy, which I don't normally like to do, but I think this is a fine move. Oh, this bastard. We're about to have broadside on that thing. This is gonna hurt him. Hello? Since we're here, we might as well get rid of him, right? What is going on here? <laughs> okay. got three caps, we could easily have four if one ship would move up. Looks pretty loss proof to me. <laughs> CV's doing weird citadels. Yeah, the lower tier ones especially, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, they're doing the I want to hold their hand. So adorable. Look at these little lovebirds.
Sorry to spoil the party. I thought I was an invincible ship just by being close to him. Rumor on the next campaign ship? Yeah, well, some people are saying they've heard uh, Italian battleships, I think. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't gotten any word. But usually they've been like telling what the new uh, campaign reward ship would be right about this time in the update cycle because I think we got like a week and a half left, right? 11 more days, so it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I know they're streaming this Friday morning, so I that'd be my guess. They're probably going to announce half the update here and that. All right, well, we're doing all right tonight. Screenshots. <laughs> yeah, it has been a little while since the battleship, so that that would make sense to me. I thought this. Oops. Oh, it's the Furutaka that had the special camo. Might be a CV. Well, that'd be a possibility too. That wouldn't surprise me. They're always looking to spice up the uh, carrier. The carrier play. Smolensk. Well, they won't do... I. God, they gotta lay off the legendary tier campaign ships. I don't know. We got a couple uh, turbo-firing legendary cruisers. I'd be surprised if Smolensk comes... Okay, oh, we got all these cruisers. Helena, 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 Nuremberg. Sheesh. One man versus a Gwep. Oh, we got four, sh four ships that can one-shot us, three that can burn us, four that can burn us. No spotting this time. And this ship we can't really run and gun to spot for ourselves. I'm going to get into my little spot right up here and see what we can get done. Might be tough with the lack of spotting to play that spot, but we'll see. You'll skip a uh, carrier campaign. Henry, Zhao, and Hindenburg, yeah. I'd rather they just keep them coming out of the bureau. They should just put like 10 new ones in the bureau at once and then let everyone just grind them out. Slow and steady. I might fire up that Beatles thing tonight now that I'm singing I want to hold my hand. What's it on again? Disney or... I think you guys said Disney. Is there anything else on Disney that I would watch? Probably not. Can't damage him. Hmm. It's like the Weimar had the same idea. It's a good spot. He's in the mirrored position over there. That's a good spot for a light cruiser like that. Hmm. Do I... I could just straight up rush that destroyer. I'd probably die, though. Oh, there he is. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Where did he go? 
Concentrate fire on the designated target. Enemy highly damaged. Oh fuck. It's getting dicey. All stations. Reporting the position of a strategic. He's coming for the suicide rush. Does he get it? Is the real question. Not looking good. Who oh, he's dead. A lot of regrets. I thought I saw a cruiser that was broadside right about here as well. Let's see if we can whack a couple of these guys. Fucking Nelson is getting shit on over there. Holy god, look out. Nice. Yeah, we got a clumping issue over here. Disney sucks balls. <laughs> hey, it's got Robin Hood the cartoon. That's a classic. Oh, I moved. I can maybe just back all the way up to their base. What do you think? This one, these Americans can back up pretty quickly and actually go a lot faster than turning around and heading back that way. Little John Ben, I don't know. They keep inviting him, but he doesn't always show up. Yeah, this ain't gonna work with that fucking thing. Oh god damn it. He's angry. Enemy cruiser sunk. We almost got there. <laughs> Alright guys, let's try and not fuck this game up. You see we're up big on ships, but uh, in terms of can we win this game or not, I don't know. Not looking too good. <laughs> you see, every fucking ship we got is in the one cap we control. Why? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Until this North Carolina is dead. It's, if, once he's dead, I'll just charge these Helenas and we'll wreck him. But until that happens, we got to be a little careful. Oh, shit. It's going to be real tough. Because this is going to be what we were talking about that first game that we were on here. How hard it is going to be to come from this side to the middle. God damn it. All stations. Reporting the position of a strategic you know he wants me dead, right? Are we all on the same page? <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Sparky. Yeah, well, now we're definitely gonna die. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. The ship is on 
Can we do anything before we die? Nope. Fuck. It's gonna be real tough to get that one. I don't know. I mean, if these guys, they should have plenty of health, right? It's just that if they, what they could, I could see happening is like all these guys take their time coming through here. And then meanwhile, this dude uh, just comes over here and grabs these caps. That would be the biggest threat. Uh, but they will flip A. Yeah, we got we got serious problems here. Luckily, we're getting three caps to one for the mo the meantime. That should run up the score a little bit. Killing the NC would be nice. Boom! There we go. Atlanta torped them. Nice. All right. If they can clear that side and then get out of here, they'll be fine. Like they got this uh, Helena down here. He can't shoot anything. He can always go back and get D and C, but by then it'll be too late. It's, you, you can't have the whole team clumping up like this, but luckily they every fight they took was like multiple ships versus one. I wouldn't bet any large sums of money on that win, but I think we should have it. All right, let me go get some more water. You guys throw out some ideas in the chat. All right. Well, the Seas have been cooperating today. I think we only lost one game so far. Stocking, thanks for subbing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninety percent win rate so far today. It's probably due to come down a little bit, but that Pensacola game should be a win, I would think. Running into an island always seems to foreshadow death. Yeah, it's saying, especially with that, you got a North Carolina four kilometers behind you. Nowhere to move. That was not going to work. Couple of votes for the kid. You vote. Oh, yeah. Numerous. Hey, AC, what up? All right, let's get the kid going. Yeah, they said the Lo Yang, I guess, from what I've been told. The old kid. Edinburgh. Implacable. I got some carrier footage coming tomorrow. Eric, what's happening? 219 likes, nice. We're on the way to 250. Two brothers and we're in a destroyer, okay, nice. Akatsuki, Asashio. You can kick the fuck out of them as long as they don't have help. Mines Megami paired. Duke of York with the Nakatsuki on the other side. Okay. I like this. This looks like a good setup. 
Just ran in the game. You were in the Helena. There was like 25 Helenas that game. <laughs> GG. Who won that one? I think it looked like the my team was going to win, but we moved on. Yeah, we got to do a little bit of coverage for the carriers once in a while. <coughs> Hello. I can usually tell if people are fans if they say protect his ass right off the bat. <laughs> Super fans would go like this. Set a smoke screen! Hundred twenty five aircraft shoot downs. Well I probably helped out a lot of people today. I got at least a couple uh clear sky medals for people. Holy god, look at this. Hmm. This is this is a dangerous island when you're deploying over here. Those widespreads. Hmm. <laughs> Problem is, he's going to be fairly close to his support. Ours is. Yeah, we got our Algerie buddy trying to help us. Should be a Kagero or Akatsuki or Asashio, I mean. Shoot the same ships, guys. Let's go here. <laughs> Battleships have heals. If you don't focus on them one at a time, they'll replace all the damage. There you are. Now you're on your own. Oh, he's trying to pop the smoke. I think he's got a torp reload, so he might be able to get us. But the fact that he was just sitting there was, leads me to believe he was on his reload. I hope he doesn't wreck that side. Since I can kill this destroyer, I'll help out with the guns. Man, he got out of there fast. Where is he? There you are. Alright, so we got his smoke for 54 seconds, then we got two minutes of my own smoke, so... We got options. You think this map comes up too often? This is... I don't know, for some reason it's always been... slightly tuned down in terms of the frequency. Fuck, we're getting our asses kicked. But that guy, how did the whole side get wiped out? We got the one Algeria left. I wonder if that Odin smashed everyone with the torps. Thanks for the free smoke, yep. <laughs> hmm. Oops. I'm gonna see if I can get him to turn into those. Or slow down, whatever he wants to do. Those might actually hit him now. 
Turned. Got him. So yeah, that's that's a risky play to do that, but if you can like if they're a cruiser or something and the destroyer pops up like that, they're gonna be inclined to want to attack it, you know. So you can get them to change their movement sometimes. You just gotta be able to pick your spots. Yeah, I could probably outgun them. Oh, he's got a flood on him, too. Probably should just let him flood out, right? That was a mistake. Oops. It looked like he healed the flood though, that's why I was kind of like, let's finish him. Yeah, this is no longer viable. Jesus Christ, that thing's nasty. Critical engine damage. Hmm. Problem solved, sir. As soon as we He's gonna be tempted to attack me. Gonna be a tough one. Might try the same play with him. It's even more risky with this one, but nah, he's not falling for it. Is our boy dead? Looks like it. The ship is on fire. It didn't work. Oh well, what could he do? Solved, <laughs> What's up, Meta? Yeah, I took a. After losing my marbles yesterday, I did ten new dodgy games in a row. Ran into Meta and his buddy in one of them. <laughs> A little bit of payback. That was a pretty good game. I got it saved. We might put that one out there. I'm the last hope. So not that we're going to win this game, but it is a semi-interesting situation because they, they have multiple ways to get in our base. They got the battleship to the far... Cruiser up the gut, and then the mines chasing me, so... I kind of have to just go back and sit on the base. <laughs> or I could just kill myself. Well, if he was going to sail broadside, I was like, eh, maybe we'll just... Kill ourselves here. Engine boost Shoot him in the side a few times. He's got his plane up, so... He's gonna spot the torps. The problem is I think he's faster than me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I need him to shoot that thing down. Shoot it. God damn it. <laughs> There it goes. Smoke generator started. <sighs> Engine damage. Problem solved, sir. We'll up the difficulty of dodging by shooting at him. Nope, sailed right through it. Yeah, well, did what we could. Finish me! There you go. You did a pretty good job there. Thirty-four knots. Yeah. Well, the kid's not exactly a speedster. Let's see. I got thirty-eight on mine. I mean, I wasn't going directly away from. Him. It was part of the problem. I was just. I hoping to shoot that uh, plane down and then get the torps in the water as quick as possible. Okay, so we did win that one. We lost the second game of the night, though, unfortunately. Yeah, three Helenas on your team. Eh, is what it is. Ballistics and... Trajectory that make it better in Alaska. Uh, meta, uh, what do you like, Meta? Alaska or uh, Stalingrad better? He really loves those the high tier uh, Russian heavies, so he might agree with you. Chuck Martin. Which one's that, Charles Martel or Chuck Hughes? You like the Stalingrad more? I thought you would. <laughs> I thought she would like that one more. I don't know, I gotta get the Stalingrad back before I can compare it, because it's been a couple months since I played it now, but... In my mind, Atlanta's like one of the most overpowered ships. The Martell. I don't have the... The space camo on a... I think the only space camo I got is the, uh, what's the tier six French cruiser? You were just fighting one. Oh, the Algerie. Okay, what's going on here? We got a Richie, Odin, just the two battleships. We're in the middle, though. This is the worst fucking spot for us. Shit. Okay. Well, I got. I could play this little island on B here. It'd be a little bit risky, but I think I'm gonna try that because there's not that many battleships, so the crossfire threat's not as strong. Maybe that's a bad idea because of all the cruisers. Yeah, fuck it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Hey, drunken sailor. Your one universal commendation from being 16-4? Wow. 
That's got to be pretty accurate then, because that's a, that actually builds a slot four perk, right? What does that wind up being? Twenty five percent? Can't be that high. <laughs> Inaccurate. Yeah, I don't. Know. For some reason, I don't find those as accurate as Meta seems to be. His aim must be a little bit better. No, it's not even... It's just the dispersion gets a little wild sometimes. Alright, so we got the one fucking destroyer in the game right in front of us. Shit. If he wants to radar, we can help. If he wants to hide, we're gonna die. Oh, it's a Fiji. <laughs> Hello, governor. That I was not expecting. Kind of a bold move. Might as well get on the cap, right? Fuck. Nothing. Where do we push is the question. Because we got the Richie kind of pinning us. I think if I get involved with fighting him, this Odin can fire into me. I wouldn't mind getting this uh, Fiji off the board, though. There he goes. Alright, he's... I'm gonna roll the dice that he's not paying attention to me, because right, I gotta block one of these guys' ability to shoot, because we got 90 degrees right now. That's like the worst case scenario. But if I get close to this island, then I can block his shot and then lob down here. I think that's the play we'll try and make at the moment. So really, come on, dude. <laughs> Our one destroyer got bored and killed himself. Luckily, we already got two caps. <laughs> oh, God. Anyone check the forecast? We got the destroyer looking right at us. I must have been... Was he in the middle spawn? Because we had the Richie, the Fiji, and then I... No, I think this... I think the Hipper was middle spawn too, so I'm guessing the Benson must be over here. You'd think our uh, radar cruiser would be eager to look for him. Yeah, this sucks. So what can I do now? Now that he's backing up to the moon, I think I'm going to just reposition him to see. We might get tore up by the Benson, but... We'll see if he drops spot here. Okay, so he still is over here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mines and a hipper. We can take those guys, right? Golden showers and bonus. <laughs> Richie's moving to the next game, yeah. He's got about one more square to back up. No, he's actually coming forward now. Oh! Yeah, if you're new, uh, you can see here, like the, the O, the circle button will back you up, but if you go this way, you can actually move forward. For some reason, the French players don't know that. <laughs> Golden showers! Another stream? I was going to see if you wanted to do one on Saturday. But we haven't actually talked about it yet, so... <laughs> okay, here we go. They did spot the destroyer and then they left him alone. What are you guys doing? I was a little confused there. I didn't know what the hell he's doing. It appears as though he's backing the thing up. Since AFK, I don't know. It might be AFK. Oh, the mines. It's the end of the reign of terror. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right, because that is, uh... If you look on the map, that's how they spawn in. Why the fuck would they find him on the map and then not shoot him? If he was AFK. Yeah, the, one of the reasons I hate that A spawn is they point in diagonally towards B, and then a lot of times the people will just ignore A. Maybe the guy... Had a plane going, he didn't notice? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> eh, maybe they cleave on the radar him and get him. We got a bod. Two minutes to get over there and get him. Make a copy after queuing up. Yeah, I know. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear you said you were ready. You clicked ready. Eh? Is that common for people to have to wait like 25, 30 minutes to get into a game? Maybe I'm just spoiled. Two captures for the Vlad. Anyone like the cold bear? I don't, nobody's... I haven't heard anyone really say they don't like it. I know it sounded like I didn't like it, because I said I hated it. <laughs> but...
But it was like, I was really just saying I hated playing the... Probably not the best, but pretty fun. Yeah, I'd agree with that. What does Beeply do? Beeply? I ain't got Beeply. Alright. I think that's probably going to do it for tonight. I think we had a pretty good run. And when I'm saying I got a video ready for tomorrow, I still actually have to piece it together. I recorded the audio, but I'm not done with it. One, two, three, four. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and two. It's not too shabby. Eighty-five percent. We'll take that. Wish you could kill your teammates. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Alright, guys. Appreciate all the support. Everyone tuning in. Look at all these donations tonight. Alright, so we had Hobo Genesis, new member. Thomas Carlton, upgraded member. Appreciate that, guys. And then Donos. Hobo Genesis, Other Charles, Kevin, Toastacular, Carlos, Viper Scratch Offs, Armando B. Looks like all the Donos. Appreciate all that, guys. Yeah, well, uh, Plan for the rest of the next week. I think I'm just going to put up my carrier rankings video tomorrow and then I'm going to try and get some projects done. I.e. figure out how to record on the iPad. Because I do want to... I want to get my full thoughts on the mobile version coming out and show you guys what it looks like. So... If I can figure out how to do that tomorrow, I think that'll be my plan. Then maybe Friday morning we may stream. There's a pretty good chance. And then Saturday... Very good chance Saturday morning. Maybe we'll see if Meta's around. Get a little uh, team action going or something. But anyway, we'll have mo plenty more World of Warships coming. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. We got 237 likes. I bet before we go, we can get that up to 250 if everyone puts our brains together.